just haven't even started yet. <laughs> All right, a wise man once said, if you put limits on everything you do, this school or anything else, it will spread into your work and into your life. There are no limits. There are only plateaus. But you must not stay there. You must go beyond them. Now some may wonder how this fits into biblical principles. Well, the part of this quote stood out, that stood out to me was no limits. It made me start to think, with God, there are no limits to his ability, and there are no limits to his love. First, there are no limits to what God can do. We see many examples throughout the Bible, numerous stories of God going beyond the practical and possible to work through his people to help them. One of the best examples that I could think of was the birth of John the Baptist. Uh, in the first chapter of Luke, it talks about uh, John the Baptist's parents, Zechariah and Elizabeth. Uh, well, one day when Zechariah was at the temple, God had told him that his wife Elizabeth was expecting a child. And, you know, since Zechariah and Elizabeth were both in their old age, they, uh, Zechariah quickly doubted. However, it was soon after that Elizabeth became pregnant and gave birth to the child that would be known as John the Baptist. It says in Luke 137, but nothing is impossible for God. That was actually something that Mary had said to Elizabeth when they were talking about how they both had had children, or while well, Mary was expecting Jesus, uh, in spite of both of them being in very unlikely scenarios. We can apply this into our lives by trusting God throughout everything. He knows our every need, it even states in Psalms 100, 147, verse 5. Our Lord is great, and His power is great. There is no limit to His understanding. With faith in God, everything's possible. Jesus Himself even said in Matthew 17 20, I guarantee you this truth. If your faith is the size of a mustard seed, then you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, because nothing will be impossible for you. God is still working and moving in every one of our lives. For example, recently I got a blessing from God. For a while I've been working really hard, saving up all my money and tithing, and I've been wanting to get a car. However, I wasn't really sure I'd be able to afford a car because I couldn't really find anything that was in my price range. However, right when I was ready to give up and just say, you know what, forget it. That was when I was able to find a car that I could afford and I got it. And I really think if God hadn't worked in that, I really think he did the impossible and blessed me. And I believe that God will do the same wonderful things for every last man, woman, and child in this room. Uh, you know, so many times people, including myself, are tempted to give up because of the multiple challenges that come our way. However, we can't give up because God is there to carry us over every mountain and through every battle. Because God has no limits and infinite capabilities. And the best part of this is that He loves us. God's love is limitless. There is never a point where we reach that we are too away from God's love. Uh, no matter what we do or where we go, God will always care and love us. In Romans 5.8, it says, God demonstrates his own love for us at this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Notice, even if one is not living for God, God still loved them enough that he sacrificed himself so they could be with him in heaven. Many times in my own life, I felt like I've made so many mistakes, I was hopeless or condemned. I'm like, well, I've reached the cutoff point, God won't be able to forgive me anymore. That was what I was afraid of. However, even in those moments where I was full of that doubt, God was still there and He loved me and He forgave me. And He was ready to forgive me, even when I felt like I didn't deserve it. Because, so that way I could continue living for Him and I could share His love with others. This special love God has for us is for every last person here, and that love is everlasting. Like I said earlier, many people, including myself, tend to doubt what God can do. However, I recently found that whenever I could just take a break, stop what I was doing, focus on God and praise Him for all the awesome stuff He's done, I found that my faith was restored, and I realized then that God could do the impossible. So next time anyone here is faced with any kind of doubt, I just I challenge you to stop what you're doing and just praise God for all that He's done. Then your faith will be restored, and God will be able to do the impossible because God's uh, His love is unlimited and His power is unlimited.
Because with God, there are no limits. Thank you.